Hello everybody, I'm Chris Soltz here with Justin Grunert, a Beckett newcomer, and we're here with this edition of Box Busters for 2013 Gypsy Queen from Tops. What do we know about this one, newbie? Well, in every box you get two autographs, two relics. Where'd you find that out? Right on the box. Okay, good. Plus I work here kind of helps. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I also know that there's a lot of higher end hits this year than they were last year. Right. Uh, it's still kind of a hit or miss product, but it's always fun to bust open. Yeah, this is the third year Gypsy Queen. It's a retro style product based off the originals. The original set was in the 1800s. This is a new design, a new take on the old style. Every box has a box topper of mini cards where some of the bigger, more impressive hits could be found. And oddly, they're not sealed, so they went to secondary market for these unless you trust <laughs> who you're buying from. So I'll let you okay. go ahead and show your mini box first. Oh, let's see who we got. Um, George Kell, Hall of Famer. You got Jackie Robinson, Lou Brock. I mean, they're all pretty good names in here. Mm -hmm. uh, Larry Doby, but uh, none of the big hits that you were talking about. Yeah, it's, that, uh, they're not going to be easy in this one. There's a lot of uh, tougher cards, tougher yeah. odds. Like there are relic booklets, for example. There's, it's a imagine a mini card that opens horizontally. One panel there's an autograph, another, and on the other panel there's a jersey card and a photograph. So those are really impressive, but there's only five of each card. And then you um, got the buttons as well. Yeah, the, buttons. The truck got pulled recently. Okay, I'm going to give you the rundown of my minis real fast here. Willie Mays, Mike Trout, Harmon Killebrew. Those are my best ones here. There are uh, photo variations that are very tough, which uh, we're probably not going to be able to easily identify, except for the fact that they are flipped over upside down in the packaging. Um, there's a bunch of those this year, and they should be simpler than last year's kind of craziness where there was very minor changes on the cards. So here we go, we're ripping in. We're gonna make this one a speedy box busters because technically I'm on vacation. <laughs> but I came in just for this, and the reason we got the new guy here is Brian Fleischer was off today because he didn't know that I was coming in on vacation today, but he was off, so here we are. Here we are. All right, first pack, let's see if I get something good. I got the mini is a uh, Ty Cobb. That's his first mini out of his first pack on Box Busters. You've witnessed history. <laughs> uh, it's just a lot of old guys. Uh, got an insert sliding stars. It's a good picture of uh, Ricky Henderson sliding head first. There you go. That's cool. Tyler Skaggs is my mini in this pack. The uh, odd yellow coloring on the card backs is kind of different. They started that last year, I believe, or the year before with Topps Heritage autographs for some reason. Actually, I think it was uh, Gypsy Queen's autograph for last year? year. Yeah. Okay. I remember that just because that's when you knew you got the autograph was it you see the yellow. It was always backwards, I think. Yep. Yep. So. Yeah, I, I bought a lot of this brand the first year, and then just last year the design, the borders didn't do it for me. This year the the, the weird green is a little uh, different for me still, but you know it, it fits the kind of the vibe of the. I was going to try to put them in the box. That's a destined to fail move. Um, it, it's it's a popular brand. It, it should be interesting to see how the higher end inclusions this year right. resonate with collectors. Well, my mini is Starling Castro. Uh, one thing I've noticed since I've been working here that's really cool is uh, they've been including a lot more of this guy this year, Jim Abbott. I haven't yep. seen a lot of his stuff since you know the early '90s, so right. it's always fun to see him make a comeback. Yep, and, uh, and yeah, I think the key there is he's probably an affordable autograph that they can insert yeah. him into auto into products, and he's got an interesting story. He's the pitcher with one hand, um, you know. So he he actually, you know, he's he's not going to be a money guy per se, but he's going to be a, a a guy with a story that people remember fondly. And so that's cooler to me than getting say some new guy that yeah. you know, doesn't really have any story for you know to listen to or to listen to. Just you know, he's just a more interesting player, at least to me. Definitely. Go ahead and keep going. It's cool. All right. All right. The uh, di dealing aces insert cards. You basically get an insert card in every pack, a mini in every pack. There's uh, several different insert sets. We'll show them as we get them here. They're, they're really fun. And that's kind of a continuation of the last couple of years as well. All right. I got a dealing aces, uh, Gio Gonzalez. And then my mini is Jason Worth. What's he worth? You get it? <laughs> but it's price guide humor. Starling Castro Mini, the the uh, Gypsy Queen glove stories is actually a pretty cool set. It's basically about impressive plays, uh, specific plays too. Here's a Coco Crisp stealing a uh, home run ball. The Mike Trout is a nice one. The Bryce Harper is too. 
I think I pulled a couple of those in my limited retail buying this year. All right, I got my first autograph here. Uh oh. Of a uh, Starling Marte. I think that's how you say his name. And it was also backwards in the pack, yep. like it was last year. That's cool. Uh, I also got a green mini of Darren Ruff, number to 99. Babe Roof. That's his nickname, so Babe. And then there's the uh, numbering. How's the cut on that? Some of these uh, mini inserts have looked pretty rough coming out of packs. For it actually looks people. pretty good. It's sharp. It does, yeah. Yeah, I like it. And I also got a uh, Collisions at the Plate insert in that pack with Brian McCann, so... Not too bad of a pack there. I wouldn't complain about that if I bought yep. that one in the on, store. On card autographs, that, that is one benefit here. There are stickers on some of the combo autos and the minis. Uh, Hank Aaron mini out of this pack over here, but not much else to write about. Kind of a, I don't know. For me, this this is a brand I really liked at first, but it hasn't. I haven't gotten into it in the last couple of years. It's just kind of. Oh. Wait, here's the obligatory. So hold on. Uh -oh. How many do you need? Just gonna throw that out there. Well, I will this match guy, your uh, none. Hank Aaron with my own. There you go. That's my mini, and I got the uh, a no hitter insert of Felix Hernandez. Yeah, I like those. Those are cool, and I have a Roy Holiday to match it. Ty Cobb mini. There's a ton of cards in this one. The set is over 300 cards, I believe. I think it's like 350 or something. Yeah, yeah. and there's a bunch of short prints and variations. It's it's a uh, it should be a fun one for traditional collectors. Yeah. I have a short print here. Roberto Clemente. It was upside down in my pack. One of the King Griffith Jr. Sliding Stars, another good inclusion from the past. Top signed him up last year, the year before. Fergie Jenkins. Good. I like the mix of the good and the old. All right, well, I got a uh, Enos Slaughter mini. He's in 42 in um, theaters tomorrow. Dealing Aces and, uh, who is that? Adam Wainwright, I believe. And then we got a Glove Stories, John Jay. Don't you glove it? I love I your glove puns. It. I glove your puns. I glove you, man. Well, thank you. The new guy. Breaking him in. Testing him. To, he's trying to put him on the spot. Give him the deer in the headlights. He's, he's we're doing it. He's doing fine so far. Flasher would have given me a weird look. And head <laughs> and other people would have just walked out. Will Clark. Frank Robinson. Brooks Robinson. That's not a bad combination. I'll take that. I bet, to me, the uh, the Hall of Famer inclusions are what makes this set really feel more impressive. It's just yeah. it gives you that retro feel in both the players and the look. Oh, for me with the retro, I kind of consider this like my warm up to Ginter. Yeah. Um, I usually buy about four boxes this year. I got a Hal Newhouser mini. There you go. I got my first blue border of Roy Holiday, number two thirty nine of four ninety nine. And then I got another two more inserts: Travis Snyder glove stories, and then. Dylan Bundy dealing go. aces, so right on again, not too bad of a pack. Yeah, I also too just got my first hit, which also had a numbered mini. So hopefully they're not coming together in every pack. Um, that would be kind of disappointing because if you're buying by singles and you know the one guy gets two hits in one pack, essentially yeah. that means it wasn't you if it was somebody else. But uh, a uh, sepia mini numbered out of fifty of uh, Cliff Lee. A Carlos Ruiz autograph. See, this is the kind of autograph that, you know, I'd rather have a Jim Abbott, but maybe that's because I hate the Phillies. Oh, wait, no, I don't. And a Johnny Bench plays at the plate. Collisions card. I got another, uh, let's see, uh, Fernando Rodney mini. I think I drafted him on one of my fans. Is that the guy that won the, uh, the World Baseball Classic? Yeah. yeah. Or closed it out, I guess. We got a Nolan Ryan nose hit, no hitters. Which is a pretty cool. I like nose hitters better. Nose hitters. Who would yeah. be in that set? That would be like him and Bo Jackson. Oh wait, no, that was the baseball. That would be player. him and Robin Ventura. True. <laughs> nose hitters. Rocky Balboa. Anyway. Jake Lamada. There you go. There. there you go. Tony Tony uh, Perez is my mini. Here's a play that I. I guess I can respect it, but it's it's not his most offensive play ever. Yeah. It wasn't against Oakland. This is the dive into the stands from Derek Jeter. I think his most offensive play ever, I think, was when he was, to me, was when he, it was in the same series when he ran right at home plate and backflipped that ball and yeah, got the guy out. That was against Oakland, thanks. Was it Oakland? I apologize. I thought it was the World Series. I got he, they, they even loved that moment so much, they put it in the opening scene of Moneyball, the Oakland Days movie. <laughs> thanks. We got a Will Clark mini, so he's a pretty cool one. Man, this, go ahead. We got a Jim Abbott no hitters. Uh, from the Yankees now instead of the Angels. This pack is absolutely loaded with old mm -hmm. guys. And then Manny Machado, uh, glove stories. He's a Machado man. Yeah. 
Machado. Oh, never mind. I was going to sing it. I keep saying it. No, it's nice. like I'm not that good. Bob Feller, Jackie Robinson. Check out the retro in here. Tommy Killebrew, Duke Snyder, Carlton Fisk. And then to bring it all home to the modern day, A Rod. Oh. <laughs> we were on such a high there. Yep. Now I gotta pick them all up. All right, I got a, a CPM mini of Giovanni Gallardo, number 9 out of 50. There you go. And then another collisions at the plate, Gary Carter. Rest in peace, Gary. Expos. I've gotta have the Expos. Ooh, we're right on the top of the pack. The, oh, well, hey. Maybe that's because it's something special. Because it's one of those packs where you get shorted on cards because the card's more thick. Oh, very nice. And it's a, oh boy, this is a Fleischer pack. He's oh, going to be disappointed. Is this my boy? It's Natalia a Natalie Feliz nice. relic patch card numbered out of 2 out of 10 on the back of the card. So that's, that's one of the higher end inclusions this year. That's a very cool hit. It is. I'm a Total Ranger fan. I'm kind of a Fleischer's oh, corner. not another one. Yeah. Really? I got my little tumbler cup at my desk. All right, it's well, when so the AL West is won by Oakland again, I'll be sure to wear my hat and drop by your... Hey, man, it's not the Angels. Angels. I'm okay. Yeah. No, I said when Oakland. That's not you know, happen, Oakland, so. I'll accept that. Did we not, we not background check this guy at Rangers fan? <laughs> Jeez. Johan Santana, no hitters. And my mini is Homer Bailey. See? Homer. Homer. See? I am a total oh. Homer. Man. Okay, anyway. In the, in the more serious news, Bryce Harper, that picture has been all over the place. I have at least two of those at home out of a whopping two blasters. And I also have a top short print variation with that same photograph. I'm hoping to see that same photo four or five more, four or five more times this season. Let's see, we got a sliding stars Ryan Braun face first. There you go. Man, another loaded with retro pack. This is crazy. I'm kind of jealous. I'm getting more new guys than you. Gary Carter, Hank Aaron, Bob Gibson, Al Kaline, and then John Smoltz. So only two active guys in the entire pack. Prince Fielder and, and that's not Miguel Cabrera. It's Melky in his Blue Jays uniform. I was sitting there going, what? Oh, the guy from the, he was part of that trade, right? Yeah. The biggest scam in baseball history. Yeah. I got it as Dribble Cabrera mini. Uh, Trevor Bauer dealing aces. Let's see if I can get some actual. Wow. I came back to reality with this pack. There we go. I have a few, uh, wow. a few old ones. I'm not even showing you anything. That's <laughs> rough. I got a Monty Irvin. That's one you don't usually see very often. There you go. Hank Aaron, Lou Brock, Ozzie Smith. So I got. I finally got him. Oh, and John Crook. The Crocker. I love watching that guy. He's funny. He's in the fan. He'll forever be a San Francisco Giant to me. Random thought. That's a segue, a plug for the BSCM movies issue out now. <laughs> Although I didn't mention that movie in the, in the, that movie in the issue. Troy Tulowitzki, that's a short print. I should have sorted out my short prints because now it's going to be tough when I go back to do my box breakdown. Which ones were the short prints? Oh no! Man. Oh my. This one's a winner. Bill Buckner oh, no. in a Red Sox uniform. And the Lou Brock, that's a nice looking card there. These, uh, these photographs are all HDR, um, high dynamic range photography, which brings out all the details in the image. Kind of a Photoshopped effect that's been running to the ground in the advertising world, but looks really good as a retro baseball touch. It does. Uh, I got my second hit, uh, Darren Ruff Roof. Hey, uh, Roof. That guy. Got his autograph. And he they had got 20 total. homers in one month last year in the minors. That's, a, that's what got him promoted very quickly. Uh, uh, he didn't make the team this year uh, out of spring. Got a bunch more of the retro guys, so now I can stop complaining about not getting retro. See, there you go. Babe Ruth, mini. I'd take that one. <sighs> he's got the retro socks going. He does. And it's an up and down kind of thing for him, too. He's he's, he's one of those guys that kind of breaks your heart every uh, year. Well, if you care, I, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't care. Ranger pitcher? Yeah. It's like Josh Hamilton. What? Oh, yeah, we don't talk about that guy. See, I, I brought him down. Yeah. Anyway, this guy's also got a retro-style <laughs> mustache, a la the Jose Canseco 86-rated rookie. If you look real close on that card, you would be blown away the power of a bad mustache. All right, I got my first uh, first mem card here. There you I got go. a Drew Stubbs jersey. So, not too shabby, There you I go. Guess. Right on. Ty Cobb. That'll work. I've heard of that guy. Yeah. He's some good, some bad. He's one of those players. He that... likes his drinks spiked. 
I think. Is that right? He likes his th his basement spiked as well. There you go. I have a collisions at the plate card. S. Perez, Salvador Perez, and a green mini numbered out of 99 is Dribble Cabrera. And this one shows a little bit of the damage that people have been talking about. It's got some chipped corners because of the darker colors. But to overall, I mean, there are always issues with printing and packaging and things like that. And there have been some problems with collation in this one. Uh, one guy found three bat barrels in one case. Yep. And odds on those, just for those doing the math at home. A lot. Hmm. Do, 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 do. I can't hum and look at the same time. It's probably one in six figures, and he got three in 12 boxes. So Yeah, it was, you know, was it 12 or 10 for this set. Oh, for a case. either way. I don't that's remember. not cool, right? <laughs> no. <laughs> All right, we got a uh, Dealing Aces, David Price. There you go. And uh, Wade Boggs Mini. I always liked this guy just because his 3,000th hit was the home run, and then Derek Jeter kind of had to steal that thunder from him. Of course. Move into that club. Of course. It's always, always about Jeter. It really is. Always about Jeter. I just like this card because stare deep into his eyes, boys and girls. Get in there close on that one. Oh, He's nice. freaky. And I'll bring it back to the, the coolness with a Yogi Berra mini. <laughs> and a Nelson Cruz. This is the Astro or the Rangers box. Astros. Nelson Cruz relic. All right, we got a uh, sliding stars here with Joe Morgan. And I got my Fire first first rookie, actually, uh, as the mini. That's cool. Of, I, how do you say that? Aficel? Avacel. Avacel Garcia. Something. something like I'm that. I'm Alaska. You want to know about pronunciation <laughs> or want to ask. So. You should see me on a hockey video. I'm oh impressive. I, I, I think I mispronounced. It wasn't Lemieux, but it was some fundamentally Yager. easy name. No, I know that one. Okay. It wasn't Jaeger. I didn't <laughs> say it like that, but I've done it before. I'll do it again. I still have four hits. I've only got three, so yeah, this is sitting, nice and spread out. Sitting on three, two. Got a no-hitters, Justin Verlander. And uh, I got another one of those short prints, the blue parallel, or the blue yeah, border. I think of, we called uh, them blue paper a couple years, or paper a couple years ago. But Marco Scudero. There you go. Basically, the, though, this this is essentially, it's another, you know, interesting edition, or uh, edition, uh, edition of uh, Gypsy Queen. It, from what I hear from some people who break it down heavily, you know, it doesn't have as many bells and whistles in terms of the every single box or every few box inclusions. It's a little simplified. But uh, I like the touch that your SPs are flipped, so you know which ones they are. That's an example of it right there. Well, I got my last hit here. I got a David Price jersey and not the bordered mini. It's that's cool. full size. So yeah, that's respectable. That's a pretty cool one. I still have one to go. It's an autograph. So with a patch already in this one, I don't know. I shouldn't have high expectations, but we'll see. <laughs> well, I saw a few, though, that had three autographs and one, oh, really? one mem. Let's see? So. One, what, sometimes you get lucky. Oh, sometimes. Just wait. Okay. Here well, we go. Dude, you got a patch already. So I mean, That's I really... what I'm saying. But you never know. Hey, there you go. How about that? That's the, the one that you said you'd rather have. There you go. All so right. it, it all balanced out there, didn't it? It really did. Mike Olt rookie card. Go Rangers. Yeah, that's a fun auto. I actually bought his... I have one at home. It's a certified auto. a signed buyback of his 88 Olympic card. Which oh, very cool. cool. I got a Matt Kane dealing aces here. Right on. And in the same same pack as the auto pack, a sepia mini out of 50 of Tyler Skaggs. So they do seem to be coming together, unfortunately. So if you find the auto pack, you're gonna find a lot more too. This one has a oh, I got a black mini of Paul Molitor, numbered to 199. I like those, those look cooler than the other colors. My mom actually met him when she lived in Milwaukee. Right on. Yeah, she was a nice guy. He had a home run on my birthday back in whatever year. I have, For one occasion, I actually tested the idea of hitting, getting autographs of every player who homered on my birthday. That'd be pretty neat. Since I, I was a, born during the World Series, there's not that many. <laughs> I got a Bryce Harper, Sliding Stars, and a Perez. I forgot the guy's name now. Salvador Perez. There you go. Collisions at the plate. My final pack has a one final short print, Adam Wainwright. And you know, Slaughter Mini. And then, yeah, that's about it. But uh, overall, the uh, this was a pretty solid box, at least a more dramatic than normal box with a uh, 
patch autograph, and it's actually a three color patch. Yeah, Bob Feller. So deluxe. No hitter. And I'm on my last pack now. I was a little behind you. I'm sorry. No, normally I'm the one that's behind, so it's all good. We picked a good one now. He can open slower. <laughs> well, I like looking at all my stuff. Exactly. All right, let's see the last pack. This one, nothing to really write home about. Kind of got, you know, Euclid and Jeter, so Euclid. I don't know if I call that a win, winning pack or not. It is if you're in New York. If, if you're not otherwise. No. Uh, or if you are otherwise. And Hall of Famer Robin Roberts. That is about it for the uh, for that last pack. Overall, though, what are, you, what are your thoughts? I mean, I think this is a fun. It's a fun one, but it, it's I don't know the, the border color, the design, this basic color bugs me. Yeah, that's, that's um, one of those things for me. I, I mean, I like it. I like the uh, the way the photographs are done, the pictures mm -hmm. done. Um, yep, that's a big positive. The only thing I don't like about this product really is it, the hit or miss of it. I mean, it's. One of those that if you don't hit at all, you kind of feel like you wasted one hundred and twenty dollars on the bus. Then again, though, Ginter does that to you all the time too, yeah. unless you're crazy lucky like you. I've heard. Yeah. Sort of. Every box last there was an autograph mm -hmm. with a red autograph. I got a Mark Hamburger. <laughs> and the Buster Posey red went really well with everything in a printing plate of Neftali Police. So a little lucky from time to time. But well, I won this one. You did. You definitely did. That one took it. And I got so. your Jim Abbott. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, but, but overall, I think this is a fun product. As long as you don't end up paying too much for your box, you should be fine. Obviously, blaster boxes on this one are 20 bucks a pop, you yeah. know. So I've seen this one at 120-ish, I think, locally. So it's, you know, as long as you don't overpay, I think you'll do okay, just because of the variety of what a typical box gives you. Mm -hmm. If you get lucky with some of those runs where the collation's all out of whack, then maybe you'll even... Hit a couple of home runs. And then you always can you still get those uh, minis with the buttons, the Mike yeah, Trout mini. Yeah, I saw it crazy recently. It's pretty there. nice. Um, That's, those are some new inclusions this year. Yeah, it should be very fun. Just buy a case and see if you can get three bat barrels in it and be happy with it. That one me. <laughs> <laughs> three others will be in this next one. So maybe. And maybe. this will be on the online. The checklist should be online now, if not the next couple of days. Mm -hmm. The pricing for it will be ready in the next 10 to 14 days or so. Um, until then, I'm Chris. I'm Justin. Just keep ripping.